Man, don't you hate it when your Wi-Fi is not connected? I tell you, it's really how we stay linked to everything nowadays. It's how we stay connected to people and, and to places and to learn different things. And, and for most people, we really only believe that Wi-Fi has been around just a few years. But Wi-Fi has been around a long, long time. I mean, you can go back into the book of Numbers. And you can see in Numbers chapter 9 where, where the man of God, Moses, himself, used Wi-Fi. You see, it was a year after Passover, and if you're not familiar with that, Passover was where God miraculously brought the people out of Egypt, took them through this Red Sea, and put them in the desert, and they came out, and they were free. They had not been free for such a long time, but they were free. And so there was a year later, they were celebrating this Passover, this thing that God did in their life. And these two guys came up to Moses, and according to their law, they were ceremonially unclean. In other words, they couldn't be or participate in the celebration, and they were asking Moses why. I mean, why can't we do that? And Moses at that point implemented Wi-Fi. I'm going to use that word as an acronym because the first thing he did was he told those guys to wait. Wait, wait until I uh, uh, talk to the Lord, and I'll get back with you. And sometimes in our, in our prayer, there's waiting times. There's waiting periods. Isaiah teaches us that we should wait upon the Lord to renew our strength so that we may mount up with wings as eagles, that we run and not be weary, that we would walk and not faint. And as the song says, teach me, Lord, teach me to wait. And the next uh, uh, letter in this acronym of Wi-Fi is I. And that's what Moses did. He inquired of the Lord. He said, there's an issue, there's a problem, there's something that I'm just too big for me, Lord, I need to inquire of you. And he inquired of God, and God gave him some instructions. That's where we find the F in Wi-Fi, because he found out what pleased the Lord. That's what he needed to do. And so he inquired, and he found out, and the last thing he did, the I in Wi-Fi, is he implemented it. He went back, and he told those guys, this is what the Lord has said, and this is what we must do. I pray today that even if your Wi-Fi that you got plugged into your wall gets disconnected, that you stay connected to the Wi-Fi that God has given us through prayer, that you at times would wait upon the Lord, and that you would inquire, you would find out what pleases God, and that you would implement that in your life, in your daily life. That's what the Lord wants to do. May you stay strong in the Lord today and in the power of His might. Thank you again for a midweek moment.